Hi, it's Kick Up Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Kristen, and I would love for you to subscribe and give this video a like. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get this fall eye makeup look. It kind of took me a while to do just because I'm not used to doing cut creases, but I really love how this turned out. And I've been loving the bottom individual lashes lately. This is like my third day doing it, and I think I want to continue doing it because I just love how it looks and makes my eyes look a little bit more open. Yeah, if you want to see how to get this look, just keep watching. <laughs> I'm gonna dive into my 35B Morphe Brushes palette and I'm gonna dig into this yellow right here. This is the M33. I'm just gonna dust this um, all over my lid up to my brow bone. I have a mirror on this side so if I'm looking over here that's why. I'm also gonna dust this under my eye. Don't be afraid to bring it down a little bit lower than usual because we're going to be applying individual lashes on the bottom. Next, I'm using the same brush and I'm going to dip into this orange color. I'm going to focus this um, in my crease below the yellow. Then I'm dipping into my 35OM Morphe Brushes palette, which looks like this. I'm going to dip into this dark reddish orange color and apply that a little bit lower than the orange. Then I'm taking my small tapered brush. This is also by Morphe Brushes. This is the M222. And dipping into this dark chocolate brown shade. And since I have hooded lids, I'm going to do this with my eyes open. Just go a little bit above my crease because we're going to cut the crease. Maybe like a fourth of an inch above my double lid. I'm going to take a clean blending brush and blend all that out. I'm going to be going back and forth between that dark red and the brown and also this dark orange shade. So these three colors and just blend away and make this look um, more like seamless and blend it together. I'm going to take a little bit of black. You can use any black eyeshadow and just put a little bit Add it to the dark brown. I'm dipping back into the yellow and just um, adding some more because some of it kind of faded from all that blending. I'm going to cut the crease and to do that I'm using my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the number NC30 using a flat brush like this. Again, I'm going to be doing this with my eyes open since I do have hooded lids. And I want the crease to be a little bit above my double lid as you can see on this side. So my lid is right there. I'm going to cut it a little bit above. Now I got the shape, I'm going to make sure that this is all smooth. And I'm going to blend out the edge and make it blend in with my eyeshadow. I'll just take any fluffy blending brush. I'm going to dip into this like neutral color for my 35B um, Morphe Brushes palette. And I'm going to set that. I'm going to take this small tapered brush again and dip into that yellow shade. And just focus it on the first half of your lid. I'm going to dip into this orange shade right here. Focus it on the second half of your lid. Now 
I'm dipping into my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette into Henna and focus it on the outer like fourth. Now I'm dipping into black again and going over that. I'm gonna dip into Henna again, which is that brown shade and Put some on the inner corners. I'm also gonna apply a tiny bit of black as well. I'm gonna add some more orange. I'm taking this little detailed brush. This is the M326 Morphe brush. And I'm gonna dip into this dark chocolate brown shade again. I'm gonna define this crease that we cut. I'm taking that tapered brush again and blending this out. Taking an eyeliner brush, and this is the Morphe M250S. I'm gonna dip my brush into some water and dipping into my Sweets palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Go into Marshmallow right here. Go on the first like half. Um, on top of the crease. And I'm using that same color on a little flat brush. This is, um, doesn't say which brush this is, but this is from Morphe Brushes. It's with some setting spray by NYX, and this is in the dewy finish. And I'm gonna highlight my inner corner. I always do this. I'm just going to take some black on this little detail brush and line the inner corner of my eye. I just feel like this brings out the shape of my eye. Next, I'm taking that same little tapered brush and we're going to dip into these same three colors again. Light to dark. So I'm going to start with the orange. Dust this under my eye, but staying above the yellow. If that makes sense. Yeah. Now I'm taking that detailed brush and dipping into that dark reddish orange color. Again, staying above the orange. Then taking that dark brown on my lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and we add those colors like the red and orange. I'm just gonna take um, another like small tapered brush and dip into that dark orange color and I'm actually just gonna kind of just pat it all over. For some mascara for the top lashes, I'm using the Great Lash by Maybelline, and this is in the Blackest Black. For the bottom lashes, I'm using this Ultimate All-in-One Mascara by Revlon. For some lashes, I'm using my Reusable Lashes. Um, I believe these are from the Wish app, so I'm not sure which style this is. For the bottom lashes, I'm using these individual lashes by Ardell. And I'm using these top ones. And I'm also using these other ones by Ardell. Um, so these ones are the double up and these ones are just like the single um, knotted ones. As you can see on this side, I used the thicker ones, thin, thick, thin, thick, thin, thin. So that's what I'm going to do on this eye. And this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Oh yeah, and hit your notification button so you won't miss out on any of my new videos. Also, let me know in the comments below what you think about this look. Um, if you have any tips on how I can improve. And also what other looks you guys want to see. Stay caked, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.